All right, welcome back. So in our project, we have two nests. We have a left nest, we have a right nest, okay? We have two parts. Let's look at our configuration. We'll cycle our machine. We'll close our clamps. We'll insert our clips. We'll mark our parts. And we'll open up the machine, take our parts out. So we have two nests. We can run two nests at one time, but we can choose to run one nest at a time. Here's how we would program for that. Okay, so we're going to have nest selection. Okay, now we want to be able to control this from our panel view, which in this particular case, if we pull back, close our configuration, we have an HMI right here. Okay, so the operator gets to choose what nest they're going to run production on. All right, so here's our program. We're really going to pay attention to rungs 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so let's go ahead and go offline. And what I wanted to share with you is rung 8 first. Rung 8 has an F colon FS. That means as soon as the machine is, the, the processor is energized, it will permit one scan, one scan only, to pass through this instruction, this examinable if open instruction, which will get found right here on our favorites screen. Okay, the examiner on or also known, excuse me, examiner closed um, instruction. <clears throat> so this instruction right here will. We'll close for one scan only, the very first scan as the processor is energized, and it will it will latch these two bits. Okay, this is the latch bit also found uh, on your favorites tab. Okay, both of these, it will do both. Okay, once that's done, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go online. Once that's done, okay, then what's going to happen is it, that will enable both nests to be eligible for uh, production, okay? First scan says you, you are starting this machine with the ability to use both nests. Now, to, to disable the, um, one of the nests, you would come up here and hit this button, okay? Found on the panel view, right? Right here on our panel view. Okay, let's go back. Okay, now what we've done is we no longer have our latch bit high here, panel view 0.2. That's been unlatched, okay? All right, very important here that that left-hand nest is not enabled, okay? So we don't have access to our to our tags, which our tags tell us everything, right? Okay, give us our descriptions. So we're gonna, we're going to hit that again. Now, normally this would be a momentary button, so toggle on, toggle off, but it would permit one scan to go through this one shot. So long as we're not in the auto sequence, right? We can take one of the nests out of production. So we're going to come down here, and we will not have that left-hand nest is not enabled. Therefore, it's not enabling any of the tags either. But if I, after the machine started, and I found out, oh, hey, I, I guess we are running production with the left nest, then I can come up here and re-toggle that, that bit, right? All right, now our, our tags are enabled, and we're able to run, okay? So we have both of our tags. Now, how do we know? Because I don't see this left-hand nest being enabled, right? So I put a counter down here just for the testing. So let's go ahead and let's monitor that. And we're going to come down here. We're going to watch this. And on our left-hand nest enable, as I toggle this bit on and off, I'm not seeing that left-hand nest enable right here go high at all that's how we why i put this counter on there because if i didn't you'd not you wouldn't see it okay wouldn't see that bit on 
So we know that we have both nests available to us because we, on our first scan, or as we toggle this fit on and off, we're choosing to um, which net we're choosing which nest we want to use in our production. So this is one way to set up your nest selection fits. Okay, and I wanted to put this this instruction, this count off instruction here, just so that you can see that that nest is enabling, okay, or or disabling in that in that particular case. So um, if I if I let go of the button on the panel view, which would be the case, this would only be a temporary button push, right? You'll see that I'm able to enable or disable that left hand nest. And you can see that by watching this count up instruction here, right? The accumulation of the account up. So you can see that energizing. Okay. So our instruction is being bit. There's one shot going through, right? Boom. Right here. We have disabled that panel view. The left hand nest is not enabled, right? Panel view tags are not enabled in this particular case. So that is how we know that the left hand nest is either enabled or disabled. Okay, that's something. I hope this has been helpful and it makes sense to you. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon.